Good luck. Hello, Alexei. Hello to everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes of course. Yes, of Great. course. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, of course. All <laughs> right. Uh, so, oh, we can start. David is, David is in the meeting. David is not present. Who is uh, present of the panelists of the panel? <laughs> it's um, sort not, too much. Huh? not too much no it's uh, you and me i'm here as well well i'm here as uh, well okay nevertheless i propose that we start our biker society panel now and uh, pretend that all the panelists are here i see Kirtian. Yes, can you hear me? That's yes. probably the main person that we need today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, oh, Ting Ting, hi. hi. <laughs> nice to see you. That's great that you could make it. Zhen Liu okay. also come. Uh, sorry? Zhen Liu, Professor Zhen Liu also coming. Is he joining? Yeah. Okay. Yoshi, sorry, I, I call him. Yoshi. Mm. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, let me um, let me start with my presentation first, and then uh, you give your presentation. Okay. So I, I'm afraid to put it in a presentation mode. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. You see what I have on the screen, correct? So if you see my screen, then I guess I can start. Yes, we see we see your screen, uh, Alexei. Can see it. All right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, hello, everybody, and this is the. Biker Society panel of 2022 in Guadalajara, Mexico, uh, held virtually. Uh, today, I have to tell you first that uh, Biker Society is doing great. It is a non-profit corporation and is also a scientific organization. It is incorporated in the United States. Uh, and the purpose is uh, to support and uh, facilitate every efforts to solve the biker challenge and the biker challenge is to create a real-time computational equivalence of the human mind uh, cap capturing uh, its highest cognitive functionality using solutions inspired by the brain uh, we have the key activities first of all uh, our biker conference then we have a, a series of publications of which the main one today is the journal cognitive systems research it is a q1 journal in psychology and in artificial inter in software engineering uh, and uh, currently we have a new open issue uh, in uh, psychological inspired cognitive systems uh, you all are welcome to submit papers we also have some uh, repository of our community online so here is the brief statistics of the uh, biker conferences over uh, 14 15 years actually it started in 2008 as AAAI symposia since 2010 it is a conference and uh, we, we see that there is no declining in the number of participants or submissions actually there is a, a little growth during recent years and we expect uh, it to grow even more in the coming years. Um, so now is the year of election of Biker Society. It happens uh, once in three years. And let me remind uh, that the current directors of Biker Society are David Kelly, who is not present, unfortunately, today, uh, Rosario Sorbella here, and uh, myself. Uh, actually, I'm still listed as a director of, of Biker Society. I, I am actually the, the founding president of Biker Society and uh, eventually I decided to resign as an officer. Uh, so today we um, need to elect 
the board of directors and also the advisory board. The board of directors includes uh, David Kelly, who is a software architect, as you see, and uh, he, he works over time now and extremely busy, but uh, uh, we have uh, a person who will help him, help him a lot. Uh, this is uh, Kirtin Atreides. He will serve as the treasurer of Biker Society, uh, will handle the Bank of America account, uh, which collects all the registration fees, and will help us to pay all expenses. Uh, Kirtin is here, you see him. Uh, and also uh, nominated is Felix Ramos, uh, who is a doctor of science, not, not just a PhD, but a doctor. He is also a professor and head of the lab. Uh, and uh, well, probably I, I am missing a lot of his achievements here. Sorry for uh, preparation in, in very short time. Uh, now we can vote who, uh, who, who is voting, uh, let's say, who, who doesn't want these three directors uh, to be the next board of directors of Viker Society, please speak now. Okay, uh, unanimously. So the, the vote has passed unanimously. The next is advisory board, uh, which I propose to compose as follows. Uh, number one is uh, myself, I remain advisory. But by the way, this is not a position in a biker society company, which is a legal entity. There is also a, a scientific organization biker society that has its own board. So now we are considering this board and uh, those people will be an advisory board uh, for, uh, for biker society company without any legal responsibility for what the company does. And uh, I still want to be here as an advisory. The next I propose still uh, have Rosario Sorbella as an advisory. And uh, finally, Jan Trur, who promised to be here, but for some reason he could not make it. Uh, he has a lot, I, I'm sure he has uh, many, many hundreds of pages CV, but I, I just had no time to put it on the screen. So uh, he's a famous professor from Amsterdam, yes. And uh, he agreed uh, to be on our advisory board. The, the good thing about this person is that he always replies to my email within a minute no matter when I send it, during the night, during the day, at any time of the year, he always replies, uh, unlike most of other uh, colleagues. So uh, who is uh, against these three candidates as advisory board of Bike Society? Nobody. So the vote has passed unanimously and we can document it by our video recording. Uh, therefore, uh, we have now two boards. One is uh, the board of directors, which itself will uh, decide who is going to be uh, the president, uh, but it is already decided, I guess. And the, the advisory board, I am not sure that it has any structure, just a, a list of advisories. Uh, so this concludes our Biker Society election of 2022. The next item on the agenda is, um, no, this is the uh, wrong order. The next item on the agenda is uh, Biker 2023. And we are going to hear for the presentation of uh, Professor Ting Tin Liu. Uh, I'm spelling your name correctly, sorry. It's My correct. Name. Oh, thank you. So please share your screen and- uh, Okay. It, or oh, I can do it for you if you like. Please share your screen and show your slides and uh, give us your presentation. Okay. Yeah, yes, my screen. Oh, there must be a button at the bottom somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found that sharing button, but I cannot not, find my PPT. Wait. Not allowed to share the screen? Uh, uh, maybe I can show you your yeah, slide. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I found it. Okay, okay, great. Hi.
Hi, everyone. My name is Ting Ting Liu. I'm from College of Science and Technology, Ningbo University. I will do presentation for Baika 2023. Uh, the Baika 2023 will be held in Ningbo in September or October. Uh, this is our prelim preliminary organization committee. Uh, I will be the general chair and Zhen Liu, uh, full professor from Ningbo University will be program chair and Alexei will be program co-chair. Uh, we haven't started to contact the sponsors yet. So the sponsors we have is uh, Baika Society, uh, our college, and uh, Anna and you, I'm EPHI. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> Mifi. 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 Okay, Mifi. Sorry. And this is outline of the rest of my presentation. Uh, let's see the Nimbo first. Uh, Nimbo is located midway on the eastern coast of China. This is Nimbo. And it is near Shanghai and Hangzhou. So this is Ningbo, this is Shanghai, and this is Hangzhou. Ningbo has international airport and railway station. So if you want to come to Ningbo, you can fly to Ningbo directly. But if you don't want to fly to Ningbo, you want to fly to Shanghai, that is also okay because Shanghai to Ningbo is very uh, it's very easy from Shanghai to Ningbo. You can take high speed rail. It, this is our high speed rail. It will take you two hours from Shanghai to Ningbo. Uh, if you take high speed, high speed rail, you are from Shanghai, this is Shanghai to Hangzhou and then from Hangzhou to Ningbo. Uh, the total route is take two hours. Uh, the rail it starts from 5 a.m. and end at 9 p.m. You also can take bus. This is the route of the bus. Uh, you can see if you take bus, you can uh, from Shanghai to Ningbo directly cross, uh, cross the sea, but uh, it will take you more than five hours by bus. If you want to fly to Hangzhou, uh, it is also a very, very beautiful city. You can go to Hangzhou uh, to see it. Uh, you also can take high speed rail uh, from Hangzhou to Ningbo is much more shorter than Shanghai. Uh, it only takes one hour from Hangzhou to Ningbo and uh, the rail starts from 3 a.m. and uh, end at uh, 10 p.m. The There are a lot of rail from Hangzhou to Ningbo. You can see this schedule. There, there is a rail at 11.55 and a rail at 11.57. So around two to 20 minutes, there's a rail. And uh, if you also can take bus from Hangzhou to Ningbo, it will take you two hours, but very cheap, only $5. Ningbo is famous for its business. There are many famous merchants from Ningbo. Uh, like Sir Ron Ron So, he is a very famous movie model, and Bao Yugang, he is the uh, world lot of ships. He has built the uh, Ningbo University, which Zhen Liu comes from. And uh, in recent times, the city has produced more than 100 national exhibitions, including Tu Yu Yu. This is uh, Tu Yu Yu, the first Chinese Nobel laureate in science. Ningbo has also awarded as Olympic champion city. Uh, these, these are champions. They are five champions in 2021 Tokyo Olympic Games. They also come from Ningbo. Um, Ningbo also has a lot of tourist attractions like Tianyi Pavilion. Uh, this one is one of the world's oldest private libraries and Dongqian Lake. It is the largest freshwater lake in Zhejiang province. And this is my college. Uh, you can see from its name, College of Science and Technology Ningbo University. So it is under Ningbo University. Uh, it is located in Ningbo, but now it is located in Cixi. We moved to Cixi in uh, 2019. Uh, it is one hour from Ningbo. 
Now we have 12,000 students and nearly 600 teaching staffs. Uh, this is Ningbo University, uh, the Professor Zheng Liu comes from. It is a key university of Zhejiang province and one of the universities in country's double first class initiative. Um, there is some information about our research team. Our research team is based on Zhejiang Provincial Key Laboratory. And we are interested in effective computing, which include virtual reality and artificial intelligence. This is one of the experiments we have carried out. In our research team, there are more than 30 people. Uh, the team is led by Zhen Liu. Uh, he is doctoral supervisor, has conducted international cooperation research with the United Kingdom, uh, South Korea, Taiwan, Malaysia, and uh, Russia. He has published a book about the virtual agent. This is his book. And this is me. I'm the master supervisor winner of Nimbo Top Talents project and published more than 30 journal papers and have conducted some international projects. We also have five other five teachers come from mechanics, mathematics, electric, electronic information, physics, and information systems. Uh, we have more than 20 graduate students, including four PhD students. Uh, they, they are some of my, uh, our students. Uh, so let's say the venue of the event. It may be Golden Port Hotel. Uh, this is the out view of the hotel. And you can see this tall building. This is the hotel. And this is the lobby of the hotel. This is uh, inside of the hotel. A room is around uh, 50 to 70 dollars per night, depends on the exchange rate. So you know the US dollar is very powerful these days. Um, the hotel has very good lo location. It is in the downtown uh, and very near to the railway station. You can take taxi from the from the railway station to the hotel by six minutes. And it also very near to some uh, tourist attractions like Old Bound. This is Old Bound, only 300 meters from the hotel. And you can go there uh, within, I think, two to five minutes by walk. Oh, sorry, this, is, this, this place is famous uh, for bars and the restaurants. It is also very near to Catholic Diocese of Ningbo and to Tianyi Square. This is Tianyi Square. Uh, it is famous for shopping. And this is a conference hall of the hotel. There are a lot of size of conference hall. If we need to book a conference Hall, we only need to pay for the deposit, 20% deposit one month before the event. The conference hall may be big for 100 people, or uh, for 70 people, or also may be small for only 30 people. This is the date of the event. It may be in the mid of September or in the mid of October. We haven't decided it. Uh, we will discuss with Alexei to fix the date later. So hope we will have a great event next year. Welcome to Nimbo. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. Tim. Now, please, who wants to comment or uh, because we, we need to decide now if uh, this is our strategy for the next year, then we commit to it. And uh, well, in particular, we hope that Kirtian will help us to organize it because if we need to make a deposit in advance, then we need the money before the fees are collected. And so that that means, uh, well, maybe they will be collected by that time, who knows? But uh, still we need the money <laughs> and it can only come from, from the account to which the fees are collected. and. The only person reachable for us who has access to this account is Kirtian, because David is virtually non-responsive at all. 
and uh, it, it depends now we, uh, we have to take the risk we, we need to trust Kirtan and we put our faith in his hands and if he fails us then we fail <laughs> Kirtan what you say do you like the idea of having the next conference in China well based on the expenses that were shown then it seems like it's certainly more affordable than doing something in Seattle um, <laughs> yes <laughs> That's kind I of agree. my base line of I comparison. Um, and yeah, I'm very responsive. I'll respond to something that you send me within 24 hours, if not sooner, as you realized this morning. Um, so we can go over the specifics of the cost of setting everything up. Uh, I only knew about uh, being coming on the board, but not specifically the treasury part, but I'm fine with uh, helping in that role. Do you have access to the accounts? Uh, Bank of America account, uh, David was asking about finding a better solution uh, for probably international transfer fee purposes, that sort of thing. So I was looking into some other options that we could use, uh, but if he has the Bank of America account, then I can get access to that from him. Great. Great. Thank you. So I, I'm sorry again that David is not here and he, he is still the person in charge. So he would um, give the final word, but I guess it's obvious now. There is no alternative. Uh, Felix, what do you say as... Uh, <coughs> Well, I think the new it's director a, of Viper Society, one of the three. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, thank you. first of all. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> congratulations to you, Kirtian. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, in my opinion, it's a good opportunity. Uh, however, I uh, here in Mexico, we found uh, some uh, funding from companies and uh, some also from the government. So I think uh, it is possible to explore that uh, possibilities in order to reduce, uh, for instance, the, the cost of this organization. Uh, however, I think it's, it's, it's great. It's a good opportunity for us uh, to know, uh, to meet different people and also uh, for knowing that place that seems to be great so for me is a good opportunity okay who else wants to comment rosario oh, i agree and uh, i think that uh, as uh, felix told to us uh, i think that is a very great op opportunity to have uh, a this close meeting with the uh, chinese colleague China, like the other uh, nations, are uh, working a lot about research. And uh, I will be happy to come personally to, to Ningbo to attend this conference. And uh, you, you will? I you think a, you will go there? Yeah, I want to do all my effort because I never, I may never go to China, and this could be a very good opportunity. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Professor Tintin uh, with his team will do a great job. And he, she will find a good opportunity, as Felix uh, told us, uh, to find uh, some uh, support from company or uh, in order to reduce uh, the fee for the attended in order. Because uh, the idea is to have uh, more people. If we can, we can reduce... Uh, the amount of money that each person that attend need to pay, I can. It can be a great opportunity, especially after this black period that all of us in the world we have about COVID experience. And uh, I think that is a, a great uh, rebirth to start again with more power, more uh, fresh energy in uh, this uh, Baika society that uh, always. Uh, Great to the great jobs of Alexei, connect people from all around the world. This was the great one of the great 
point that Alexei pointed out to connect people that come from different area, from different places, but with a common goal. And especially in that period, I don't want to do any politician uh, or politics. Uh, we, we do not, by the way, we do not allow any political statements. No, no, no I don't want. I don't, I don't want because uh, the important <laughs> is the research. The important. No, no. I want to say this. I don't want to do nothing with this because in this field we are all research, all connected. And we are. We need to work all together because this is our power. Working all together for the growing of the research. This I is my... agree more. I wish it was actually in real life, as you say. Yes, my <laughs> hope also, also in real life. We can give our, uh, our uh, point of view from research that can be reflected in the real world. This is my opinion. I am uh, optimist to find a new age for us. And this... Uh, because Thank I am you. a great friend of Alexei, and uh, I want to be a great friend also of uh, our colleague from China and on, all around the world. Thanks a lot. Well, Thank practically you, speaking, uh, for your words, uh, uh, yeah. sorry. Uh, practically speaking, as well, then uh, the Chinese government has been historically very interested in getting uh, more research papers, more researchers. Uh, in attendance, so it seems reasonable uh, to seek um, some potential funding through them. Does yeah, that sound they, accurate? They are growing very rapidly in science. Uh, in Alexei. China is very Alexei. Rapidly. Yeah. Alexei, uh, um, Ricardo want to talk. Yeah, please, please, uh, Ricardo, say something. Uh, it, it's just a question if this is going to be a hybrid conference again, or it's yes, just yes, 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 yes. only on site. Hybrid, <laughs> hybrid. there is no other way because we, we are not certain about the uh, situation of uh, COVID, situation with the war, and uh, I do not know what to predict uh, in a year from now. Absolutely have no idea. So uh, we, we commit to a hybrid event uh, is the, in the worst case scenario, it would be like we have in this year, only local people in Ningbo and the rest participating virtually. But uh, in the best or in, in the optimal scenario, we will have a large crowd in that hotel, uh, as always at Biker Conference. Yeah, so I, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, now I have to ask uh, Professor Jean Liu and Professor uh, Ting Chin, uh, what do you think about uh, this question of uh, possibility of finding uh, the findings from government, from uh, scientific uh, funding agencies, or from any sources in China? So you, you, do, you do have possibilities. Actually, we are planning doing this. But you are not certain yet, of course. Uh, I cannot totally guarantee. Mm -hmm. And this is why we cannot count on it. Mm. But there, uh, it did have a chance that we can do it. Because I know there is uh, some fund for international conference. But I cannot guarantee I can get this fund from the government. Is there an application procedure for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will apply for it later. So we, we need to prepare together and help you to apply for oh, it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I hope you let us know when we need to help. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the uh, time is running. Sorry, what do you say? And maybe I think uh, Professor Tony will want to do some uh, want to say something to you. Professor Zhen Liu, maybe he wants to say something to you. Professor Zhen Liu. Zhen Liu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he wants to say something. Or maybe you can translate what he says if he does not want to speak English, uh, for example. Uh, okay, I, I will ask him. Liu uh, Xia, you also saw this one. His mic is muted. Oh, this is why <laughs> his mic is muted. Uh. 
I told him. And um, oh, he has no mic. Oh no, he, he, his mic is uh, muted, and that's it. I don't know how to help, but uh, I guess uh, the only option would be using a phone. Oh, here, here, we, now we can hear you. Okay. Oh, sorry. Huh? Okay. Yeah, we can hear uh, you. It's uh, great pleasure that BICC AI 2023 will be held next year. We welcome all the experts uh, to Ningbo. Uh, Ningbo is a famous coastal city. Uh, and many uh, academic conferences are usually held in Ningbo. I believe that the next year conference will be success. Uh, you uh, experts uh, have any question <laughs> uh, like Ting Ting to tell more about the details? Okay, that's it. Thank you. Sorry, we are running out of time and we still have one more item on our agenda of this panel is the Biker Society Awards. And uh, so you might be surprised, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let me give the floor to Felix and uh, please, uh, Felix, go ahead with the list. And Rosario, or maybe Rosario can uh, share his screen and show us uh, the certificates that he was creating. Mm. No, I can, I can, I can show some certificate because our name are. Uh, are reported only by mail, but uh, I can show. Yeah, yeah, just show us a better one. That Felix how, it, show. how it looks like. Okay, just one. Okay, I will do it. Okay, uh, yes, I will do. I will do it immediately. One okay. second. Okay, thanks. And uh, okay, I will start, uh, and then I will. I will leave. Uh, okay. Oh, no, just first, share your screen uh, and show it to us. Yes, yeah, one second. One second. Okay. 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 Uh, Felix, do you have the list of names? Yes, yes. We don't, we don't need uh, paper numbers of Okay, types. okay. Do you do you do you, do okay. you see? Do you do you see? Yes. Yes, we can see. Okay. Okay, and the okay. winners. I am the... proud that the Go ahead. Go ahead. Please, Felix. Okay. Okay. The the winners for please, the please, outstanding Felix. research okay. award are Ting Tin Liu, Luis Adrián Parra, we saw the flower. Peter, this is Peter a surprise. Rodin, and Luis Felipe Rodriguez. The Thank winners you. for this uh, innovative work are uh, Jan Treur, Howard Schneider, Agnes Arguello. Arguel, Arguel, the Winners for the doctoral consortium are Ivan Rodkin and Brera Prova. Pirova. Pirova. Yes. Yeah. Those are the winners. And um, was difficult to 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 decide the winners, but uh, because. Most of the work were, were very, very interesting. So, but uh, it's, it's a decision and it's our decision, okay? So, um, congratulations for all the winners. Very good work and continue working more hard. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. everybody thank you. Thank you. Who is awarded will receive uh, the, uh, the certificate by mail. Oh, sorry. There was the, the last uh, part of the uh, student award, which was uh, given by one our late breaking participant. And it is a free membership in uh, his uh, company program, which is called uh, First Step in AI, something like that. 
and uh, it is uh, done for free for six months and he, he says it has a value of six thousand dollars i cannot believe it but uh, this is what he says and uh, i i believe we decided to give it to the two students who who received uh, the doctoral consortium awards because uh, it is uh, more like a training program as i understand and students are those who need it most so uh, if if i'm not mistaken then uh, well uh, felix do you confirm what i'm saying yes yes of okay course. so so ivan rodkin and uh, g pirova are the winners of uh, this special award yes congratulations okay Okay, now, now so, I give the, the floor to Felix to conclude and move further. Okay, we are not concluding. It's just a break and we restart uh, the presentation. Okay, thank you. Okay, give thank you. give uh, us uh, five minutes. Okay, okay. could Thanks you send me? Uh, Felix, uh, I send you a message. Uh, yes, by yes, okay. yes, yes, I thank read you. it. Okay, thank you very much, Felix, and uh, congratulations for, for your new position. Okay, I am pretty sure. Yeah, congratulations to great. all the new directors and advisories. Thanks a lot. And thank you a lot, very much. It was a pleasure to, to meet uh, the new colleague that I never met before. And uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. See you soon. See you.